Following their bye week, the Dallas Cowboys are back in action for Week 8 when they play host to the Los Angeles Rams. The Cowboys were able to go into their break with some momentum as they managed to outlast the Los Angeles Chargers, and they'll look to continue that momentum against the other LA team. Dallas has experienced some ups and downs during the 2023 NFL season, though the NFC remains theirs for the taking if they're able to put it all together. Offensively, the Cowboys haven't been very explosive with Mike McCarthy taking over play-calling duties but the defense remains elite. Micah Parsons is on the shortlist for this year's Defensive Player of the Year award as he is one of the league's premier pass rushers. Parsons is a legitimate game wrecker and he explained how he approaches each and every game, via John Makota of The Athletic. Every time I step on the field obviously I want the big plays, the sacks. I want to be as dynamic as possible, Parsons said. Parsons has the talent, drive, and work ethic to be the best at his position and his growth as a leader both on and off the field is one of the primary reasons why the Cowboys own one of the best defensive units in the league. However, the young star isn't satisfied with where he's at as he admitted that he could do a better job of creating opportunities for himself. It seems like it's only a matter of time until Parsons establishes himself as the NFL's best defensive player given his trajectory. Brandon Aubrey is having a historic start to his NFL career The Greg Zerline days at the beginning of the Fassel era were not exactly prosperous but ultimately the Cowboys did move on and deserve credit for doing so. While the second stint that Dallas had with Brett Maher did not end well, he was a phenomenal kicker for them during the regular season last year. Credit is deserved by Fassel and his staff for giving Maher a second chance, although his first with them specifically, and helping him right the ship. Incidentally, Marr was released by the Rams this week ahead of their trip to AT&T Stadium. The true star of John Fassel's special team's prowess appears to be current kicker Brandon Aubrey. A complete and total unknown when Dallas brought him in over the offseason, he has developed into one of the more consistent kickers in the NFL right now. The Dallas Cowboys are obliged to move on without star cornerback Trevon Diggs after he tore his ACL early in the season. But, out of sight, out of mind, is not quite the mindset here, as Diggs has remained a sideline presence for the 4-2 Cowboys, though that might be tabled for a bit. And why? Because his rehab, a lengthy process to be sure, in anticipation of a healthy return for the 2024 season, is about to begin following his Tuesday surgery. Diggs underwent his ACL surgery on Tuesday, and word is the doctors did not encounter any problems beyond what has been anticipated. Why the delay in the procedure? Conventionally, doctors want to wait until all the swelling is cleared up before performing the surgery. As the Cowboys wait excitedly for Diggs to get back on the field in order to show off why the playmaking star merited his recent five-year, $97 million contract. The Dallas Cowboys could upgrade at the cornerback position by making a move for a former Super Bowl champion. As suggested by CBS Sports' Tyler Sullivan, the Cowboys should inquire about trading for New England Patriots defensive back Jalen Mills. Sullivan argues that following the season-ending injury to number one corner Trevon Diggs, Dallas should acquire a cornerback by the trade deadline on October 31. The Cowboys may not make the biggest splash at the deadline, but their secondary could use some help, particularly in the aftermath of losing Trevon Diggs, torn ACL, for the season, writes Sullivan. Calling up Bill Belichick and inquiring about Mills could be a savvy decision for Jerry Jones to deepen that part of the secondary with a veteran player who has Super Bowl winning experience. Jalen Mills currently buried on Patriots depth chart the 29-year-old veteran has mostly served as a starter since entering the league with the Philadelphia Eagles back in 2016. However, he currently serves as a backup safety for the Patriots after making the transition during the offseason. The transition has heavily hampered his playing time as Mills has appeared in just 26% of the defensive snaps this season. For perspective, Mills had started 75 of his 89 appearances prior to the start of this season. Mills has appeared in all seven of New England's games this season but has only played 26% of the defensive snaps after playing in 90% and 75% in the previous two seasons with the franchise, writes Sullivan. The 29-year-old previously posted on social media his displeasure with his role on the team, so a change of scenery could be good for the veteran corner. Why trading for Jalen Mills would benefit Cowboys? Mills would bring versatility and experience to a Cowboys secondary that is one injury away from being in shambles. Dallas' current cornerback group featuring Stephon Gilmore, Darren Bland and Jordan Lewis are doing just fine in the absence of digs. They're allowing 177 passing yards per game which ranks third among all NFL teams. 
however, an injury to one of those three players could be disastrous. Dallas lost Lewis and Anthony Brown to season-ending injuries last year and were forced to sign veteran free agents such as Mackenzie Alexander and Xavier Rhodes just prior to the start of the playoffs. That's why the idea of acquiring Mills, who holds a cheap $1.750 million salary this season and will only be owed roughly half of that by the time the trade deadline rolls around, is an enticing one. Brad Spielberger of Pro Football Focus actually suggests that Mills could be acquired for a sixth-round draft pick. The Cowboys don't have a sixth-round pick for 2024 due to the Brandon Cooks trade. However, they hold a 2024 seventh-round pick and all of their 2025 picks. Mills holds a Super Bowl ring after starting all 15 games for the Eagles during the 2017 season, posting 64 tackles, three interceptions and one touchdown. Considering neither of Dallas cornerbacks, with the exception of Gilmore, has Super Bowl experience, trading for Mills could be a cheap and beneficial move for the Cowboys. Don't expect the Dallas Cowboys to be overly aggressive at the trade deadline. As the Cowboys enter the NFL trade deadline, pundits expect Dallas to be buyers. The Cowboys have a number of key areas they can improve, including at running back and cornerback. However, don't expect Dallas to be the one making the calls. According to team owner Jerry Jones, other teams are going to have to be the aggressors in order for a trade to be completed involving the Cowboys. It'd have to come my way, Jones told 105.3 FM The Fan on Tuesday. I don't want to preclude anything in any way, but it always does. You have a lot of machinations that you're working through there. The initiation of an opportunity to make a trade at this time that would help us, principally, would have to start on the other end. Jerry Jones explains approach to trade at deadline. While Jones brings up how the initiation would have to start the other way, he stresses that the team's game plan entering the deadline is not from a lack of aggressiveness. That's not showing a lack of aggressiveness, it's just that's where it starts. I like where we are with our personnel today. I'm not thinking, in any way, that we need to upgrade our roster. The Cowboys have been no stranger to big trades over the past year. Prior to the start of the 2023 season, Dallas completed three major trades that saw them acquire former 1,000-yard receiver Brandon Cooks, former Defensive Player of the Year Stephon Gilmore and former number 3 overall pick Trey Lance. Those three trades saw Dallas flip late-round draft capital, including a fourth-round draft pick, two fifth-round draft picks and a sixth-round draft pick. Cowboys could upgrade at running back and cornerback Dallas is currently 4-2, they'll host the Los Angeles Rams right before the trade deadline on October 31st, and are just a couple weeks removed from a 42-10 beatdown at the hands of the San Francisco 49ers. Points of weakness for the Cowboys are the lack of viable options at running back behind Tony Pollard, the team's inefficiency in the red zone, they rank 26th in red zone percentage, and a lack of depth at cornerback following the season-ending injury to number one corner Trevon Diggs. Despite those clear deficiencies, Jones explains why his wait and see approach is a lot better than being overly aggressive in initiating a trade. It's your leg and wait, I have areas of the team that I could, if certain circumstances happen, improve, he said. So you don't know that your best chance to get it done is when it comes by you and you grab it. That's just generally speaking, to go out and push it, the odds of getting it done at the price or trade conditions that you would expect is draining. Due to their prior trades, Dallas is lacking in draft capital, especially in the later rounds, in 2024. In fact, they don't have a fourth, fifth or sixth round draft pick in 2024. We'll see if the Cowboys' strategy pays off with any moves at the deadline. But considering Jones' approach and the lack of draft capital in the immediate draft, it may be more likely that Dallas goes without pulling off a big move.